Mm -hmm. Well, I think that um, religions are not made in heaven. They are made on earth by humans. Um, I don't think that any religion has any kind of eternal essence. Uh, religions is what people make of them. Christianity is anything Christians make of it. Judaism is whatever Jewish, Jews made of, make of it. Uh, you can make of it a very tolerant and accepting religion, and you can make of it a very intolerant and homophobic and chauvinistic religion. It's up to you. It's not like in the text, in the book. The text contains so many things. Uh, unfortunately, in many cases throughout history, we see that uh, people used religion and used God to justify the worst tendencies. And where they say, I hate, no, God hates. I'm just following God's commands. And you're justifying your own hatred. Now, I don't think that if there is a God, that God would punish people for love. If you think about homophobia, for example, why would a loving God punish people just for loving each other? It seems totally unreasonable to me. So uh, as far as I can tell, the source of homophobia is not in God, is not in Christianity, it's in some Christians who justify their own hatreds and their own uh, mental weaknesses uh, in the name of God. And we've seen how religions change through history. That some religions, for example, supported slavery, and then at some point, uh, the same religions became uh, one of the main uh, fighters, warriors, against slavery. And uh, it can happen in, in, in many other things too. So I think that we shouldn't fall into this uh, trap of believing that there is something deep inherent in a particular religion that makes it inevitably homophobic or inevitably against women or against this or against that. Fernanda Diamant.